YouTube channel and I hope you guys are doing absolutely fine. I got so many requests for this lab, so here is a new solution for this lab. I tried to complete this lab using a command line, but we will not get a full score, and that's the reason we have to complete this lab using a console. But don't worry, this lab is very easy, it's just a time consuming, and there is an issue with the task number two, and because of that, many people get worried why we are not able to create an instance. So, in this video, I'm going to talk about that. So, first of all, just me log in with your credentials, and once you're done with that, Click on the task number 2 over here and from here you can see this data fusion so just me copy this thing carefully do not copy this full stop now just me search over here like this way open this instance in a new tab like this way come back over here wait for a second now now just me click on this create instance now for the name just me copy this name carefully like this way and paste over here like this now for the region from here you can see this region so just click select this region over here okay and as you can see i again got a create instance page and this might happen with you multiple times but don't worry we have to repeat this step it's the issue of the lab so don't worry about that we have to just repeat this step multiple times and at last we are able to create an instance so again just me choose a region over here like this way scroll down Make sure that for the addition, it must be basic. Now just me scroll down, click on this grant permission. From here, just me choose the advanced option. Then just me click on this enable stack driver login services. Okay. And then just me click on this create button. Now just me wait for a second. Okay. So as you can see, now we can see the instance is creating this kind of page we are getting. But sometime what happen after some time, you will get this page. So if you get this page, don't worry. Click over here again, paste the name, again just me choose the same thing like this way, US Central 1, okay. Like this, scroll down, from here just me choose the option, like this, and then again just me click on this create button. Wait for a couple of seconds. And again we got the same page and this is the issue with the lab so we have to just repeat the step again and again we can't do anything about this Now as you can see after repeating the same step for again and again now we are able to see that instance is creating. Now this thing is going to take at least 10 to 20 minutes so just really wait for that. And it's finally done. Now just me click on this name over here, scroll down and from here you can see this id, just me copy this service account id like this way. Now here just me search for the IAM, open this thing new tab, come back over here. Okay, now click on this grant access, just me paste the id over here like this way. Now for the role. Just me come back over here, scroll down a little bit and if you just me click on this check my progress, you will get a score without any issue. Now just me scroll down over here and from here you can see this role. Just me copy this role like this way. Come back and just me search over here like this. Choose that and then click on this save. So it's done. Now if you just me click on this check my progress, you will get a score without an issue. If the score is not updated immediately, don't worry. Just me wait for a couple of minutes and you will get a green tick over here for sure. Now for the task number three and task number four, what here do? Just me come back over here again. Just me click on this view instance. Just me authorize yourself. And click on continue. So it's done. Now just me click on this hub. Then just me click on this pipeline. Okay, make sure that you have to choose a pipeline. Now here you can see cloud data fusion quick start. Just me click over here. 
then click on this create just may click on this finish button now click on this customize pipeline and after clicking on the customize pipeline you will get this kind of pop-up click on this now just may click on this deploy so it's done now now just may click on this run button over here So as you can see now it's provisioning after some time it will show as running and after a couple of minutes it shows as a succeed and once it's done what here do we have to just me come back over here and from here you can see this last query over here this query we have to just me rerun this query so for that just me come back over here and now here just me search for the big query Now if I try to run this query over here, okay, let me just me show you. So we are getting an error. So for that, what you do, we have to just me wait until this shader so as a succeed. So just me wait for a couple of minutes. And as you can see now the status is succeed now what you do you have to just me come back over here and refresh this page so first of all just me copy this query like this way and you can see now we are able to run this query so just me click on this run and it's executed now if we just me come back over here and click on the check my progress for each and every task you will get a score without any issue and if the score is not updated for any particular task no need to worry just may wait for a couple of minutes and you will get a full score over here for sure and that's the way we have to complete this lab if you still have any doubts please do let me in the comment section thanks for watching and have a good day guys